Okay, so in this video I'm going to review some of the moments questions that we've been doing in class because there's a, a few areas that have been presenting some difficulties. So, um, one of the key mistakes that people have been making is that they've been getting the distances wrong in their calculation of moments. So, when you're calculating moments, the distance you multiply by is always the perpendicular distance. So the force is in this direction. That means that the perpendicular distance is this at 90 degrees here. So you join it up to the pivot point, and that's the key distance here. Likewise, if we're just applying a force up here, we drop a dotted line back, and we calculate the perpendicular distance again at 90 degrees. Um, where we've been experiencing some difficulties here is when the force is at an angle, so like at this one. So it's the exact same, so you're looking for a normal line or a line at 90 degrees, and it's this distance that's important, and often we use trigonometry to get it. So um, let's have a quick look at this first question. So I'm going to uh, go through this very speedily because this didn't cause too much problems. Um, so we want to calculate the moment of the force. So moment is the force times the perpendicular distance. In this case, it's uh, 4, or in this case, minus 4, because it's going to go anticlockwise, times 0.25 equals minus 1.0 newton meters, because it's going round anticlockwise, and typically we say that is uh, negative, and also this force is acting downwards, which again, we typically say is negative. Um, so we need the force that we applied vertically on the right-hand side, a distance of 0 0.6 in order for it to be in equilibrium. So when it's in equilibrium, the sum of the moments is zero. So essentially we've got a force here. We apply down because to make it go in the opposite direction and it's 0 0.60. So um, we've got this 1.0, sorry, minus 1.0, um, plus x times 0 0.6 because it's going in the opposite direction is equal to zero, which means that x is one over 0.6, which is equal to 1.7 newtons, let me round that to two significant figures. So that's 1.7 newtons going down. So we've applied the condition that the moments are in equilibrium, but currently we haven't got the force in equilibrium. So if we look at this diagram here, We've got 4 newtons acting down, and we've got 1.7 newtons acting down. So currently, the forces acting down are equal to 5.7 newtons. So if it's going to be in equilibrium, that means mean there's an upward force of 5.7 newtons, which is keeping it in the equilibrium position. So where does that come from? Well, that's are supplied here, so it's called a reaction force, or and this in this situation the pivot supplies it. So reaction forces always act at 90 degrees to the point of contact, so going upwards like here. There's sometimes also friction at these pivots, but given that all of these forces are acting downwards, there's going to be no sideways forces acting at the pivot here. So the reaction force is going to be a positive and it would have to be 5.7 in order for the whole system to be in equilibrium. Okay, let's move on. So, now we've now got a question. Uh, we're starting to look at some exam style type questions here. So we've got a tabletop of mass 5 kilograms, center of gravity is 0.4, uh, so let's... So we've got a we'll weight force which you're going to need to calculate and it's a distance of 0.4 and we've got this 200 force from the Newton force from the computer again at 0.25 and we've got a force applied at the end uh, multiplied by a distance of 0.8 so we want first to calculate the weight force so weight force is mass times gravity so it's 5.0 times 9.81 which is equal to 49 newtons to two significant figures. It's actually um, 49.05, because we'll use that later on. So if we're taking moments about A, 
um, we need to show that the total moment clockwise equals the total moment anti-clockwise to be in equilibrium. So going clockwise, we've got this force here, which is going to make it rotate that way. I've got this force there, again, going to make it rotate that way. So the total moment is going to be 200 times 0.25, because that's the perpendicular distance. And it's going to be 49.05 times by 0 0.40. And when we put those together, we get... A total of 69.62 Newton meters going clockwise. So that must mean going anti clockwise, we have the same, and the anti clockwise moment in this case is 0.80f. So putting those two things together, we have f is going to be 69. 0.62 divided by 0 0.80 giving us a grand total of 87 newtons. Okay, so we've currently got a moment force, so we've now got to a condition where the moments are in equilibrium, um, but the force we've currently not shown on our diagram is like before, it's the reaction force, so the force acting at the hinge. So in this situation, all the forces are in the vertical direction, so the reaction force is going to be in the vertical direction. We've currently got 249 acting downwards, so, and only 87 acting upwards, so we can be pretty sure it's going to be um, acting in the upwards direction. Let's call it R. So if we resolve upwards, so looking at forces with upward components, we've got that... Um, R plus 87, which are the two upward forces, minus 200 minus 49.05 is equal to zero. And when we solve that, we find to keep it in equilibrium, R will have the value of 162.59 blah 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 which we would give to two significant figures as 1.6 times 10 to the 2 newtons. So um, in terms of the mistakes a uh, few people were making in this question they are, if we scroll back up, um, forgetting that there's a reaction force at a hinge, this was quite a common one that I saw, forgetting that that's there and that that would help keep it in equilibrium. I saw quite a few people multiplying W by 0.15, so this distance, but remember it's the perpendicular distance to the pivot, so all of these forces it's the distance to the pivot, so watch out for both of those. And in the next video, I'm going to look at some slightly more complicated uh, variations of this, so moving on to some looking at angles.